Hello, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Misty Hawk Tames Minecraft! Uh, <laughs> hey, uh, last time we uh, took a little tour of the cabin and discovered my incompetence at running snapshots and how I lost all my inventory. So I went out caving a little bit <clears throat> and found uh, some more supplies, got rearmored, did some enchanting. A couple diamonds, some emeralds, you know, a little getting back to uh, a good stable base of supplies to work with. Um, a couple minor tweaks to the the how the cabin here, a little window up in the loft that looks out that way, um, and so everyone can whoop, hey, stay stay still on that ladder. Uh, and that way, you know, from any direction, you can watch me sleep. Because that's exciting, right? No. Um, <clears throat> got the enchanting table in, and put up a couple item frames. And uh, one of the new features is that, well, you could always rotate items around, but now you there's the eight different directions. Uh, <clears throat> so some, some items start looking kind of funky when you're moving them around, like these upside down fish. And I think that's the normal one, but I think I wanted it quite in sideways as if, you know, those mounts that people put in their dens and such. And and then this puffer fish is just having a great time spinning around. Um, what else is, is, is going on here? Um, oh, we got a, we found a horse. There he is. I got to give him a name tag as soon as I find one. Um, which direction? Somewhere over there. That way. That way there's a plains biome. <clears throat> and there were a lot of horses. This one had decent health. Not a lot, but it was really fast and could jump three blocks. And so I went ahead and picked him out. Uh, we no no work yet on this little outdoor deck thing. I was going to wait till I had some supplies, maybe we'll do a little bit of that today, um, but mainly uh, wanted to oops, <clears throat> wanted to get into the nether, a uh, little secret compartment, uh, wanted to get into the nether and look for some blazes, uh, and get some potions started. <clears throat> um, so I came in here already and made a secure area so that I didn't just instantly get bombarded by ghasts. Oh, actually, let me let this load and we'll be right back. Okay, everything's loaded in now. Oh, and... Sometimes, the nether can be tricky. Uh, you know, you need a lot of arrows to defend against ghasts, but... Sometimes, you just don't see a fortress right away. And I started up a little high, but looking around... I am not seeing a fortress to go towards, unless I'm just not seeing things right. Um, what's that? No. Let me get the brightness up a little bit, too. Sure. Why not? I don't know if that helps. Sure, a little bit. <clears throat> oh, there's one. Nope. Nope. Yeah. Let's go get it. <clears throat> Might as well chase after it since... Uh... Oh, that noise is... Uh, so frightening. I'm a terrible shot, by the way. There we go. Drop things. What do you have? Uh, gunpowder. Oh, gas tier, yes! Aha! Very nice. They can get kind of tough to farm if uh, you don't have some kind of system set up. Mm hmm. Okay, nothing over here. Should I. Oh, I should. I suppose I should make a little trail of torches so I know how to get back. Okay, we're going this way. And then we're going this way. And I'm getting lagged. 
so let's see, what can I change? <coughs> Video settings. Do we need, I don't know, does that help? Maybe that helps, we'll see. Uh, gosh, really need a fortress, you know? And I'm I'm doing one of those things where I'm let me scoot my microphone around. They're doing one of those things where I'm like huddled up really close to the screen to see if I can <laughs> see anything off in the distance. <clears throat> oh, excuse my my voice as well. I'm not feeling totally uh, on top of my health this weekend. Oh, come on. Yeah. Now, did they always, did gas always take one arrow? It, I don't know, maybe, oh, maybe with power two it's just a one shot? That's nice. Okay, anything else? No gas tier? Hmm. Okay, so I didn't see anything immediately off that way. Let's try over here. A lot of soul sand. <clears throat> An earlier, uh, another world I had <clears throat> started. I, uh, oh my goodness. Let me see if I can get this. Uh, there we go. Yes, yes, yes. Haha. <laughs> uh, ooh, that's far down. Achievement achieved. Um, I might have. One of the, maybe not this, but a clip I re recorded, I was, I think I was, I was telling somebody about, uh, you know, world generation and, you know, seeming to usually start in the plains or somewhere kind of generic. And uh, I've sort of found that ever since the, hello, get, hello, can you, excuse me, excuse me, yeah, get out of the way. Uh, after the 1.7.4 update, I noticed a lot of my worlds had me starting off underwater. Um, not like in a deep ocean or anything, but just, uh, just, you know, in water, you know, already drowning and when whatever biome it happened to be. Um, and in that world in particular, I went to the nether and the portal formed over a massive lake of lava uh, with nothing in sight within rendering distance. And so I ended up having to make um, like a hundred, hundred block bridge in both directions just to get to land, uh, only to find that there were no nether fortresses in sight. And so after a good amount of searching there, I just gave up and, you know, that world is, uh, it's just on my laptop for whenever I feel like exploring it. <clears throat> but here I, I might be running into the same situation. Um, if I'm, you know, if I'm missing something, if you see something and I'm just totally missing out on it, leave it in the comments and let me know. Um, cause I, I want this to be a quicker process to <laughs> get into the nether and find at least be somewhat close to a fortress. Uh-oh. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. Don't you do it. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, get over here. Get over here. Can I melee you? It's dangerous. Oh my goodness, where is it? Oh no 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 no! Oh, I'm dead. Dang it. Ah. Uh, why did? Oh my gosh, I'm so far away. Ah. Uh, 
Home bed missing or obstructed? Is that... Is that what happens when you sleep on slabs? What time of day is it? Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Luckily... Oh, good. Spawn's not too far away from... Ah, uh, well, I guess I should try to go retrieve my items, so I will be back in a minute. Oh, okay, well, back in the nether, found my stuff, uh, I think I got most of it, but let's sort things around and make sure. Why did, I don't know, bucket of lava, is that a bad thing to carry around? <clears throat> Locks. Door. Don't need that. Food. Tools. Okay. So I had this kind of stuff. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Wood. Yes. Sticks. Torches. So all that is here. I think that's about everything. Um, yeah, luckily that wasn't too bad. Uh, a lot of times when you die in the nether, your stuff is just gone. Because you fall in lava, or it burns up, or it's difficult to go back to. Okay. So now I'm down here somewhere. I don't remember the exact way back. <laughs> but I'll, you know, I should find it eventually. <clears throat> Meanwhile, let's get some of this quartz. It's good for uh, experience gaining, and goes really fast. And it's, you know, it's a good building block as well. Um, so, yeah, for this series, I'm not, you know, I didn't have a whole lot of ideas of what exactly I want to do with it uh, when I was thinking of titles. Uh, you know, I just thought of you know, starting in a mesa biome that I'd never seen before, <clears throat> at least like in a in a proper uh, game, I'd seen videos of people playing in mesas, and um, the super rare like ice spike planes or whatnot. It made me just think of that whole taming the world aspect, and so. Uh, you know, you, let me know what you think of this, but uh, I'm thinking, you know, explore, try to find all the different biomes, and build, uh, you know, some dwellings in each of them. You know, already I've got the cabin in the taiga, and that's sort of the, you know, a kind of traditional sort of starting house for any new world. And, you know, I used local materials. And, oh, where am I going? I don't, um, so yeah, I, I, let me know what you think of that, if, you know, building bases in different biomes, using natural materials, meaning stuff that can be found, oh shoot, nearby. Um, you know, occasionally might bring in other things like if I were building a you know a base here in the nether it could get boring fast if I only used you know nether rack and nether brick and okay this is not going anywhere um, so yeah I'd like to see all the biomes and uh, you know sort of establish uh, presence in all of them um, Along the way, I'd also like to experiment with various mob farm designs. Um, I've never really done a whole lot of that kind of building where uh, I'm playing with the actual mechanics of, uh, you know, villagers and mobs and spawners. <clears throat> so that would be... Uh, a good way to try some new things, see if I can uh, build stuff that is both highly functional and uh, aesthetic. So I want things that work, but I think they should look good too. Um, 
and so we avoid like you know this is a purely utilitarian box you know it protects the portal lets me see out and that's you know it's the quick and dirty building um, eventually I would want to spruce it up and make it look nice as well so hopefully that's what we do with these episodes uh, upcoming uh, but in the meantime I'd really like to find a uh, another fortress so let me do some exploring here and see what I find and we'll be back in a little bit oh goodness I knew I knew I knew it. Um, that lava bucket was a bad idea. <laughs> oh, right. So, which I okay. Wait, I spawned this way. So this way. I'm exploring in the Nether and <clears throat> looking for that uh, fortress. Um. And I'm, you know, skirting around a mountain or a crag or whatever they are, uh, somewhere up high. Oops. And the gas starts shooting at me, so I scroll through my bar, look, find some blocks, and throw some down. Um, but one of the fireballs is hit, and it's, you know, I'm, it, I'm burning, and, I, oop, come on, I realize that the floor was on fire as well so I would, would keep burning so I put it out and in the the panicked rush uh, <clears throat> I threw down a lava bucket and burned myself up and so all my items dropped right in and poof are gone um, oops. so that's <laughs> that's my nether story for today Oh, uh, gosh. And I don't... I mean, I have materials, but I'm going to have to make all new armor and enchant it. I got some books, though. Well, let's see. Actually, these three would make a good set of armor. So, uh, but yeah, no progress yet on finding blazes. And... That might just have to be where <laughs> we cut this short, because uh, it's going to take a, some time to get all my gear back together and actually go find a, uh, another fortress. So, um, yeah, so thanks for watching, and I will, oh, there we go, I'll catch you guys in the next episode, and hopefully we find what we're looking for and uh, can get on to exploring other biomes, so... Take care. Bye-bye.